I think we need to understand a little bit of, of what 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John and Jude are and what's going on in the church. So you've got the church has been going for a while. It started to spread. You've got people who've been a member for a while and some who are brand new converts. And they've got these local leaders who are also fairly inexperienced. And then you have the, the leaders of the church who are trying to help these guys keep going and stay in line. So we don't actually know for sure who wrote 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Tradition holds that it's John the Revelator, John the Beloved, the same, that's the same person, mm -hmm. right? Um, and part of that is because you'll see that, that it reads a lot like the Gospel of John. Uh, same kind of themes, same kinds of ideas, and so it really reads like John. We don't know, but that's a very, very likely candidate. In any case, 1 John is like, a, 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 it's almost a sermon. Uh, it's not really a letter proper, it's a sermon to this congregation and then 2nd uh, and 3rd John are, are letters. And then Jude, the author claims to be Jude, the brother of James, and this seems to be not James like Peter, James, and John, but James, the brother of Jesus. And so if, if that really is the author, and it seems like it is, then this is the brother of Jesus writing this. And they both are writing to strengthen the church, but in particular because there's some ideas that have been creeping mm -hmm. into the church that need to be corrected as that this young church is trying to stay faithful. Mm -hmm.